What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode with Franklin. If you're watching me for the first time, thank you for stopping by. If you can hear me, you can see me smash the like button. Smash the like button. Give us the thumb up so we can gain traction. If this is your first time, thank you for doing so. Please give consideration to smashing the subscribe button, select the bell button, select the all option so you're notified when I'm live streaming or when I pre-record and upload content, okay? Follow me on Instagram at Franklin, as it's spelled on my YouTube channel. Hello, Michelle, Master Falcon, what's going on, people? Derek, what's up, bro? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I promised you guys I was going to be back here tonight. So there's some people that sent me emails uh, last uh, last night after after the live stream last night. So I'm going to get back to you. Hopefully I'll reply some of the emails tonight and then by tomorrow. Uh, Jimmy, I'm all right. I'm all right. What's going on, people? So, I said, <laughs> look who the cat dragged in. <laughs> I'm back, Ernest. Yes, so, um, I said there's going to be giveaway tonight. Five Ifa divinations tonight. I'm giving away five Ifa divinations to five lucky people, but that's going to be at the end of the show. So I'm going to go through the story. We're going to have a nice chat, nice conversation at the end, towards the end of the live stream. Five, I'm going to randomly on the live stream, I'm going to pick randomly five people. And then what's going to happen is you send me an email. Um, you get to ask me um, a maximum of two questions. Okay. Um, not me, but for Ifa Divination. You're going to give me your full name and your mother's first name. And, you know, that's all we need. And then I'll come back to you within less than 48 hours with the outcome. So now, if you're lucky, I'll let you know, you know, on the live stream. Now, if I don't pick you, but you're interested in divination and stuff, um, you can you can definitely pay for that, you know. But like I said, prices, everything have come down stuff so five lucky people is the first time i'm doing a giveaway on my channel um but that will be at the end of the show now let's go to the stories for, um at 46 year old i sold all for uk relocation and this happened okay now there's a reason why i want to talk about this story okay um um you know um why i want to talk about this story because yesterday if you were on the live stream or you watch my live stream if you haven't go and check my live stream from last night so i said i was going to talk about something particularly um rubbles um send me an email please um ifa divination hub at protonmail.com just send me an email now yesterday I said I was going to address, there is something called Ogun Minimoni, which is um, called um, Ogun Minimoni in Yoruba. It's basically the sort of um, bloodline related spiritual warfare that a lot of people deal with and um, that bring about afflictions and limitations in your life. So, so like if our divination hub at protonmail.com. Now, Ogwe Minimoni in Yoruba, I will try to give it an English interpretation, and that's, uh, I call it spiritual limitations that emanate from within your bloodline. It could be from your father's side of the family or your mother's side, or sometimes a combination of both. But, no, no, there's no Western exposure, there's, there's none of that. So but anyway, let's let's go. So this person, as some of you might know, there's a trend. There's a whole lot of our brothers and sisters that are moving aggressively from across Africa. There is this COS, 
you know, um, actually UK is now in recession, by the way, and um, who have been moving aggressively with children, families. And let me put a disclaimer. This is not about judging anyone or trying to put anyone down. This is about critical thinking. This is about logical reasoning. Please, there's about 145 people watching me. Please, please give me a thumb up. Let's gain traction. Smash the like button. The like button, okay? Now, I understand that since time immemorial, people immigrate and move across the world, relocations. Uh, <laughs> hi, Bolaji Gunjobi. Hi. Good evening. So, now, for those that have been watching me for quite some time, I'm heavily concerned, particularly by black folks that travel abroad blindly. If you're watching me for the first time, I'm a spiritual person. I'm an Ifa initiate. Um, on my pathway to becoming, to start the journey of um, becoming a Babalawo at some point. So Ifa is my way of life. Ifa is the voice of Elidumari. So when I talk, I always have what I talk about rooted in spirituality because the spiritual con controls the physical. The physical doesn't control the spiritual. For a start, we are spiritual beings. Now, this guy, like many other people, 46 year old, sold um, everything everything he had um, a three-bedroom bungalow which was um he said on a plot and a half the main building sorry was a four-bedroom bungalow with a boys quarters a bq at the back a two-bedroom bq had a gatehouse he had solar panels he had a nice car his wife had a nice car on a two plot of land right beautiful house he 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 built that house finished moved in at the age of 39 and then he lived in there for some years wife gave birth to the idea let's move to the uk da 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 da, da. long story short they threw everything away they sold everything in fact he said he sold in desperation wanting to come to the uk he sold the house at he said franklin I'm, I'm ashamed to tell you the exact figure, but let's just say I sold it at a giveaway price. When I read that bit, my belly, you know, turned. I've seen so many of this. I've read so many stories about this. If you're just joining us, smash the like button. Give us the thumb up. If you want to support my show, right? Um, I accept super chat on my channel if you feel like doing that, okay? Um, let me okay inside you. So this year, I'll be telling you if you want to support my channel, my content, I'll ask you, you know, as somebody who is a spiritualist, I embrace Ajay. Ajay is a deity of wealth. So before, I don't normally bug people. I'm not saying you owe me anything, but I will call your attention if you want to support my content. Some people send me emails. How do I support you? So you can give me super chat and support my content. Ajay Afayi Washe Bujoko. May Ajay bring you blessings immeasurable. Now, as we are saying, he sold everything. Landed in the UK himself, wife and two, two very, very young children. Now, he has an older brother who's been here and there was a lot of truckload of promises. Oh, you'll be able to stay with us, you know, even for up to two years. Red flag, that's a lie. So anyway, he sold everything. I think he came with the bandwagon of the COS, this certificate of sponsorship, the care industry, that everybody's coming in with. Now, like I was saying, let me put a disclaimer. I am not against fellow human beings 
wanting a better shot at life or wanting to improve their lives. Okay? That's not the point. But in my little journey, in my little time, 41 years on this planet this year, I, I've come to realize that things are not the way they appear physically. So what do I mean? Now, what do I mean? If someone tells you that, oh, there's an opportunity, there's an ongoing trend, everybody is jumping on the bandwagon and traveling to the UK or jumping on this visa um, and traveling to the US, uh, this is the trend now. You'd agree with me, unfortunately, there is a pattern which is called societal conditioning. We are made to believe in the society that we live in, that if everybody's going in this direction, you must jump on that train and go in that direction. Do you understand me? And this is where the problem lies for so many people. So I'm going to talk, I'm going to digress very quickly. Why am I saying this? Now, as a proud initiate and practitioner of Ifa, there's something called Ori. Ori mi ateteni yano, Ori mi akwesi, wajia mi nigo ote mi. Ori leja fin labu, kemi o yedeji ma fori labu a yeja. Ori ba ilo mre reko fin laju, ki ma fori laju ja. Ifa ni yuru lo nshatan of eja, ki ori mi ko shatan of fwe mi o yedeji de bire. So what does that mean or translate? Your Uri is your spiritual essence, okay? We are spiritual beings. There is a reason why you were created, okay? There is a reason why you were brought into human existence. What your Uri aligns with has to be checked, must be checked. Oh, you're trying to pick a life partner. You're, you're, you're a guy you want to marry. You're a woman you want to get married. Ori, Ori ni You see this lady, she's beautiful, she's educated, she's working. Is there spiritual compatibility? Is there a spiritual alignment? Shori yi baramu. Okwonokbo lo bimon fona wantu jekwe omono jerawon. They are not compatible. There are some of you, the spiritual limitations that you are, you are experiencing in your life right now emanate from the type of woman you are laying with the, the vagina you are penetrating and vice versa. A woman who should blow some financially, career-wise or business-wise and be at the pinnacle of a success. You are limited. You are chained. You are facing spiritual afflictions or for ajogunibi setbacks because of the kind of man that you are laying with. It's That's why I say the spiritual controls the physical. I hope you're following me. The whole idea that everybody is doing it this way, you must do it that way. No. This is why when I talk on my channel, some people who are maybe limited, they are tunnel visioned, they would think, they lack critical thinking, they would think I'm trying to uh, suggest that, oh, they shouldn't make it in life, I don't want them to make progress. That's a lie. That's a big lie. Ori ni bokbo nkan. Ori ti mo gbe waye. Emi o ye deji. Ori mi yato si ori watu nwo mi. That's why somebody is going to become a medical doctor and be absolutely successful in that pathway. Somebody else, their father might force them down the pathway of medical field and everything that person will go through through the cycle of their life will be will be will be problems and turmoil and cycle of disaster failure lack of fulfillment nothing to show for years in medical school and being and somebody else might not even have the same level of iq as the other doctor they do well 
That's why everybody can't be a civil engineer. Everybody cannot be a train driver. Everybody cannot sell bags of water. You might look at someone, oh, I know if, you know, we say so many examples. Oh, I know a friend. I'm going to go back to that story, that 46-year-old man. Um, oh, I know a friend in Nigeria. Oh, he's only selling bags of water. And he's making a lot of money. And then you think, oh, hang on. I'm just going to go to Germany and buy some used water processing machines. I'm going to find a plot of land. I'm just going to buy this truck. I can do the same thing. You will fail. When I talk about divinations, check. That's why I live a life where I am never, I can never be attached to somebody else's life um, emotionally or till the point where I'm consumed by jealousy or envy. You know why? It's a waste of time. Do you understand me? It's a waste of time. Do you understand? It is a waste of time. Never ever use other people's lives. You can be inspired by something that somebody's doing, but never ever. Because Oriyato, sorry, and this is why I say, unfortunately, if you're not aware of these things, you perhaps some might be, ah, yeah, yeah, whatever. Ah, here we go, ah, conspiracy or whatever. That's fine. I'm having these conversations. No, we're not putting a gun to anyone's head. If, if, if at the end of this cycle, uh, this session, sorry, I've managed to be a blessing to one or two or three persons, trust me, I've done an amazing job tonight. Do you understand me? Now, the 46-year-old man, like I was saying, he sold everything. He came here. He had money in his back pocket. He so after some time, there were issues that happened, staying with his older brother. Things did not turn out. And um, the, 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 the people that brought him in, that promised jobs and all that, they, they let them down. And here is another scam that I uncovered, even whilst I was in Nigeria and stuff. A lot of people sell their assets, they jump. So, so the people processing this COS certificate of sponsorship, they will process it from back home. You get your visas and all that. But the promise of you, because then the people that issued you that certificate, you must get a job with them when you get to the UK. So when you get here, what happens is the people that sell you that sponsorship for that certificate or for that care job, or whatever, once they collect their money and stuff, you get here, they leave you hanging. And this is the story of so many. Not just Nigerians, Ghanaians, a lot of people. So people sell everything with the hope that when I get to the UK, I hit the ground running. I'm going to make back times 10 of my money and everything. Everything will be jolly good. For some people, the moment you leave whatever part of Africa you, you, you emanated from, you have already disconnected from your source. And I've all, I always say this on my channel, you can never outdo the universe. Some humans, based on your ori, your journey in life, if you relocate to the UK, UK lake beer. There are some people you get here within two, three years, everything pops. They buy their home, get a mortgage, everything is popping. They're moving up career, they have money, things are doing doing well. There are other persons, totally different stories, opposite. Because your energy probably there are some there are some cases you <laughs> uh, there are some there are some there are some cases husband and wife are traveling and they're trying to relocate the uk aligns with the husband the wife no or they might say to you when you get there the wife will abandon you it's going to happen 
you cannot outdo the universe. I mo ye yon doti shife. There are so many people that are procre procreated with partners that maybe it was just sexual attra attraction. It was infatuation when you were younger. There are people you, you don't have any alignment with. And then, boom, you just create babies. You're three, four, five, six, seven years in. You have multiple children. I call my 40 year old, but there is no spiritual alignment. Like I said, if you're watching me, there are individuals. You're maybe a woman or you're a man and... Hey, how are Ali? How you doing? You're a man, you're a woman. If you notice the stagnancy in your life, you're trying so hard. It may not necessarily be, that's one of the possible options from your partner. But when you check, it may be from even your bloodline. There's so many factors. So this guy, he got here. They burnt out, they burnt through, they burnt through their money. They hit rock bottom financially. After some time, the brother said they had to move on because the wife, the brother's wife was making issues with his wife. There was friction because of the living condition in the house. These things happened. So they had to move on. All the money that he brought, they burnt through everything because he wasn't getting, he wasn't getting a job. They, they didn't have income. The agency jobs that they thought they were going to get, things did not pan out as they they thought or expected. Now, they burned through all the money that he brought from Nigeria. They hit rock bottom. Things are totally difficult for them, right? He's struggling. He is struggling. He has two young children. And then you soon realize that the Western life that we live, each man to his own cross, everybody to their own cross. In each person's household, they are paying their bills. They are living within their own scope of life. So it's not really easy to absorb your own whatever truckload of problems or issues that you have. It's, people might be able to, out of the abundance of their heart, be able to help you depending on the, your relationship with them. But the long and short is everybody's got their lives to deal with. So the harsh reality hit this guy. He made a statement that I wasn't doing bad. My wife sold me the idea. And also the driving major driving forces, a handful of their family friends around them that they both grew up with and the new... Most of them had jackpot, they had traveled, so it was like, we need to go as well. But guess what? They soon realized that when they landed in the UK, everybody scattered. Some live in Not Nottingham, some live in Birmingham, some are up in Scotland whilst they are down on the edge of London somewhere. Some is in, somebody's living in Leeds. Somebody, do, do you understand me? And this is, this is the, this is the truth. So when you say, ah, oh, yeah, 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 Femi is my friend. Let me go and check Femi in Manchester. Even if you see Femi in Manchester, you can't get to go to Femi's house like you do in Nigeria and see Femi all the time. Femi is probably working 13, 14 hours a day. He has his own wife and kids. Probably talk on WhatsApp. It's not life back home. You cannot call Femi that, hey, bro, can I get a quick 1,000 pounds? There is nothing like, can I get a quick 1,000 pounds? You see... For those that are, might have just joined us, this is not a campaign about not um, traveling out. There is more than meets the eyes. The spiritual controls the physical. This is why I say there are people that have thrown away their wealth back home. They've absolutely destroyed it with their own hands. And they've relocated to an environment where a boy was um, where they would never be able to replicate what they abandoned. It's almost like a Faustian bargain. And then they are trapped. This is the harsh reality. You see this guy's story. I'm going to expand on this. I talked about something, uh, uh, which is uh, the spiritual um, warfare that emanates from within bloodlines. I said I was going to talk about it tonight. I'm going to tie it to this. Even 
the fact that this guy is at the rock bottom is struggling. There is mounting pressure from back home. His mom is already telling him, uh, They are already telling him, um, you know, get yourself together. You've got to bring in your younger brother, Tunji. This is somebody who has lost everything back home already. He's struggling. There's financial pressure. And the parents back home are already telling him that, hey, yo, fix up, start thinking about bring, how you're going to bring in your younger brother. This is why I talk about some of these parents, they commodify their children. Knowledge is power. And the reason, there's so many factors why people fail. There are the dubious travel agents that lie to people because they want to take this money. And then what I've also found out, um, if you talk from the point of view of being a Nigerian by roots, if you tell the average Nigerian that there's fire burning down that road, they don't like the truth. They don't like the truth. They, they, they will instantaneously... Um, um, so, so is this really a spiritual matter? No, you've not been listening. I'm talking about Uri. Yes. So the reason why it's a spiritual matter is if you're spiritually blind and non-existent, the outcome of that is you tend to make bad decisions about your life. Do you understand why it's a spiritual matter? So I'm trying to get your thought process into that direction. So you see, if I was your friend, I'll give you an example. To respond to that gentleman, if you told me, let's say we were both in Nigeria, yeah? And you told me that, hey, bro, ah, there is this COS, blah, 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 visa program to go to the UK, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, on paper, it's a brilliant idea. You've not done anything wrong by sharing what some may regard as a beautiful, helpful information with me. So, but in me, as somebody who is spiritually inclined, do you know what I will do? So before I start running from pillar to post, oh, let me process how I'm going to go to the UK, da 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 da. Malo shia ye wo. If I lo wele do mari. Do you get it? That's why I said the spiritual controls the physical. So even if it's a good idea, let's say I was in Nigeria with my wife and we say, babe, what do you think about this idea? Maybe we'll try this relocation to the UK. That in the first instance, people that's how people start conversations. Okay, this relocation to Canada or this, 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 and that, 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 you know, but you check. You check. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to establish. <laughs> do, you, do, do, you get, do you get what I'm saying? Because if it doesn't align with you, I may have a friend, Tolu, and Tolu goes to Canada, and Tolu does well in Canada. So the, what I'm trying to establish is, I want us to drift away from the very dangerous thought process that your answer to success in life is purely about selling everything that you have in Africa and running abroad. It's a big lie. The only person that wins all the time in that process are the colonial countries that we live in. That's fact. Do you understand me? I'm telling you for free. Some of you might find it hard to, to process, but it's the truth. There are plenty of videos on TikTok. You find our people are homeless. They end up in train stations, unable to, and you know life abroad, you're unable to pay your rent. You become homeless. The landlords are going to kick you out. Nobody's going to make a YouTube video and say, hey, everybody, come and look at me. I'm stranded in the UK, episode one. Episode two, join me next week when I show you how I'm eating from the gutters. Nobody. Nobody's going to tell you that. But I'm telling you the harsh reality. 
Somebody buys, gets on a mortgage ladder in America, they make videos. Everybody likes to celebrate success. Hey, look at me, my brand new house. I'm talking to you about the harsh realities of life. I want young G, I go, my canal. And the problem is when people throw everything away, when you shake and then they get trapped. This is the truth for so many. I have sat with countless people that you will actually see on paper that the life they threw away when they were in Africa miles better than the basic ass life they have abroad. That's facts. Now, Ogwe Minimuni, also some of the driving forces behind these things, where you come from, parents, some, some, that's why I put some, some mothers and fathers, you know, because they desperately want to use their children as retirement plan, they are blinded by their need for Forex. They don't care. They're not going to do critical thinking. Remember, most of us grew up null and void of critical thinking. You're not allowed to talk back. You're not allowed to say, no, that you must go. And sometimes some of the, it's, it's very complex. It, it, it's, it's, it's that they have an agenda to use you for themselves. Some of them even have an agenda to use you to raise your siblings. Thank you. Let me read this. Everybody picking their abroad, but no one will share you the bitter sides of abroad. Ask your Ori, your spiritual gyroscope before making any decision. That's all we're saying. Shaya wokoma batika bama obenu. My brothers, my sisters, there's so many people. Go to your local barber shops, your social gatherings, your local Nigerian gatherings, Ghanaian gatherings here in the UK, um, Sierra Leonean gatherings. Talk to our people. Ask them. Ask them. Do you understand me? Ask them. People might tell you they've been abroad for 15, 16, 22 years. There is nothing to show for it. And also, you see, the, the, the evilness that follow us is multi-layered. When I talk about the spiritual afflictions from within bloodlines, nine out of ten times or eight out of ten times, most, most people are not spiritually fortified. Kusajesara o dira. From where we, most of us came from, when you're jumping on that plane, they wave you goodbye. Ogunio, when you wave them goodbye at that airport, that you're going to London, you're going to the UK, you're going to the US, right there is the beginning of your spiritual warfare that's going to last a lifetime. I tell you for free. They will mark you. They will mark you. And you keep toiling for years. Spiritual afflictions from within bloodlines is one of the greatest, the, the, the most devilish wars that you will fight in your lifetime. Because that's your root. They knew you before you were formed. They saw you since the process of inception, conception from your mother's belly. They know your mother's name. They know your roots. The people with the third eye can see. From, from infancy, they know your akosejaye. They know they will put a mark on it. They will clamp you down. So it's actually war for a lot of us to want to break free and climb. Let me let me be clear. This has nothing to do with, oh yeah, I went to university. I have an IT background. I, I, I studied medicine and stuff. You can, you can, you can, you can study whatever you think you want to study. You cannot outdo the spiritual. I tell you for free. 
there are brothers and sisters watching me tonight, quietly in your respective homes, on your mobile devices, on your tablets, on your TV, wherever you're watching me from. Deep down in your subconscious, you know exactly what I'm talking. Nobody, I cannot, I, I may never meet you in person, but you know yourself more than I will ever know. I probably don't even know you. I probably would never meet you. But trust me. Ogun dile lo buruju. Ogun e mini muni. Oma mu e si owoni. Why am I saying this? You got to grab the bull by the horns. I've come to realize life is not what it appears to be like before your normal eyes. Aye benu aye aye tu am benu aye tu benu aye ye. Whether you choose to believe me, it's up to you. You're within your rights to absolutely disregard all that I'm saying. But I'm going to speak my truth. There's somebody watching me tonight. If you go and carry out divination, if you check, you go to the root cause of what is messing up your life. You have so much marital instability. Everywhere you go, chaos follows you. Ami Korira, everywhere you go, you cannot find favor. You go somewhere, if a new job environment, they just suddenly have disdain for you. Before you do one, two, three months, they conspire to kick you out. You cannot keep a job for six months, one year. You think it's normal? Or the Bojula Sani. No, it's not. And 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 the, the web of complexity that you are trapped in. Just follow me, follow me. I'm talking hypothetically. Imagine if your mother has a hand in your setback, but because you're blinded by sentiments and your love for mama. Your mother knows you are spiritually non-existent. She knows you have a breast milk desperately wet on your lips, even though you're a 40-year-old. What I mean is, she knows you will always call her, ah, mom, eh, mom, eh, mom, she get she get here, want to do breast milk, go gumbe. You're reporting yourself to the person behind your misfortune. It may sound crazy. I'm just citing an example. It happens. You're reporting yourself to your father. You're reporting yourself to a so-called sister, brother, best friend. And that's your prime enemy. <laughs> ah, bro, I'm, I'm doing five if I giveaways tonight. I'm never forget David. <laughs> hmm. I see a lot of people. Yeah. Africans. You know, on one hand, in your brain as a normal human being, you want to go somewhere, you want to go make a life for yourself. That's why I started with the analysis of there's nothing wrong with you. I am not here castigating you, but you'll be doing yourself a major disservice. If because everybody's going to the UK, you 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 throw everything that you have away. And you think, oh, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. I'll give you a quick story. A few years ago, a couple of years ago, was it back in 2021? I'll give you a quick snippet of this story. I met a gentleman in Ibadan, yeah? He told me about himself, Ibadan in Nigeria, right? So he said, a few years prior to that, he was desperately trying to travel abroad. He was fixated of traveling to the U.S., with his older brother, his immediate brother, right? So two of them, they were looking for every program, every v means to get US visa and all that. There was a couple of, um, how do you say, um, there were a couple of rejections and all that. So eventually, his older brother got US visa, jumped on the plane. So it was time for the brother to travel. He... he 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 cried and cried because the the thank you topsy thank you thank you for the super chat i appreciate you thank you he cried you know when his brother got the us visa and he didn't get the visa right um he was devastated he was crushed this was back in if i'm correct 2008 or 9 he said bro i cried my eyes out because i knew my brother had to go. He's going to leave me behind. I can understand. 
So his brother, when, you know, they sat down a couple of days before the brother left for the U.S., so my dad said, look, don't cry when I get to the U.S. As any blood brother would do that loves you for real. So don't worry, man. I will, I will, I will try my best. I will, I will, I will not turn my back on you. I will, you know, support you. I will try to see how I can help you get in as well. Eventually, brother had to go to the airport. He flew to the U.S. Now, he went to his father's kind of like a childhood friend because their own dad had died. And then he was crying and said, I don't know what to do with my life. My brother is gone. I want to go to the U.S. So Baba Mulod Dafa. So Baba said, stop crying about this U.S., U.S., U.S. Who knows? Let's go and check. So Baba took him to Ijebu. Onodaifa. That means Ifa divination. To go and check. Just have a look at your life. Let's hear from Ifa what is ahead of you and stuff. So long story short, he was told that, nope, it's not in your calling to, in, in the near future, you're going to be affluential. You'll be able to afford to maybe get US visa, or go to any part of the world on vacation and stuff. But it's not in your calling. It's not in your, it doesn't align with your ori to go and live permanently, permanently being the objective word in the US. You know, hearing that as a young guy, imagine he was like, what the hell is this Baba talking about? But he was frowning. And then they told him, something to do with buildings, uh, climbing, fixing the top part of buildings, something around building will be something that aligns with him. So Baba took him to one of his friends who sells uh, long span roofing materials he has a big um sort of warehouse and stuff so the baba knew he said follow me he said this is my son so at that time he was crying well what what's this got to do with me selling roofing materials and the baba told him that listen if you don't stay here and you won't follow this path you're free to go ahead with the rest of your life this is the only way I want to support you. I, I know how to support you because your, your dad, when he was alive, was a good friend of mine, blah, 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 blah. And you're like a child to me. So reluctantly, he stayed there. He would be in the warehouse. So the Baba's friend took him under his wing, started showing him. They would go, they would get contracts every week. The man was a big businessman. So he started learning the tricks of the trade. They'd go and install long span roofing, Gerard roofing and stuff. Now, cut the long story short. Fast forward to 2021 when I met these gentlemen. He's a multi-millionaire. In a week, he gets about minimum of five. In a week, he gets a minimum of five roofing jobs across Nigeria. Ibadan, Ilefe, Abuja, Lagos. He's a multi millionaire During COVID in 2020, his brother was heavily stranded financially. From Nigeria, he would wire about $2,000 to his older brother. He helped his older brother to start the foundation of a four-bedroom bungalow without... He bought the land for his older brother and he started the foundation work to German floor level. His own money. He's a multi-millionaire. He has worked on multiple building projects connected to me and other people that I know. There's a reason why I'm sharing that story. Ori. Ori Nibogunka. Now, if you rewind to 2007, 2008, you know, that time, and you were telling a younger, well, younger version of him, don't go to the US. You make it in Nigeria, blah, 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 blah. He, I can imagine, he'll call you crazy. He'll ask you to keep quiet, man. He'll go and sit down. US is the best. Today, there are hundreds of thousands of diasporans that cannot afford what this man has in terms of wealth 
I tell you for free. He wears shorts. He drives a lot of truck. Very humble guy. I'm just citing an example. Ori, irulon shaton of edja, ki ori mi, ko shiaton of umi debiri. So I asked him jokingly, was it last year when I saw him? I said, have you ever been to the US? He said, no. I said, my brother has said it several times that he's asked me to come on holiday. He goes, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe later, I'm not interested. I said, what of UK, have you ever been? He goes, nah, not interested. He just goes, nah. He said, because I'm too busy, I get a lot of jobs. He, get, he gets a call here, he has to roof for whole duplex. Get house, BQ, commercial premises. Do you understand? He's actually, he's excelling in his pathway. This man is aligned with his Uri. Now, imagine somebody just looking at him that he's making money in the roofing industry. And I look at him and I, th I think, oh, I can just go and jump in that pathway climbing up uh, and doing roofing job has nothing to do with this entity sat here. I know that from a spiritual standpoint. That's why I say it's very, very bad to copy people. Even here, let me tell you, as a content creator on YouTube, I'll give you an example. As simple as you might think YouTube is. It's not simple. But being on this platform, I stay in my lane. I exist in my originality. I'm not trying to be anyone else. I am Franklin. This has my print all over my channel, uh, all over my content. I, I, I'm not, I have never tried to sound like anybody. I stay in my lane. I do my thing. I might look at contents. I might enjoy this content. I might like the style of filming and this. I might, you, you can get inspirations. But I never try to be like anyone. Likewise, you can never be like Franklin. You may be inspired by what I do or the way I say something or, or view things. You can never be just like I can never be you. Ori, even if you're identical twins, your spiritual makeup is not identical, can never be identical identical twins on the physical side of things. Oh my God, they look alike so much. From a spiritual standpoint, no. Nah. You understand? So, you are one of one. I like that. Thank you. A lot of people, I see my brothers and sisters. And again, I say this respectfully. You should know for those that rock with me, this is not trying to castigate anybody. I'm not telling you that I'm an epitome of knowledge. But spiritually, I don't play. Hmm. I'll give you, I'll give you one hint. Appeasing your ori, ori bibo, periodically, will help with a lot of recalibration in your life. There's a reason. Those that know the secret, they don't, they don't, they don't play. They're not going to stick it in your face and come and drag you. That's the beautiful thing about um, about spiritual um, African spiritual, particularly Ifa. It's not, it's not coercing anybody or forcing in your Ori would draw you to it if it's your cup of tea. If it's not, stay in your lane and live the best rest of your life. A lot of people, the reason why it's easy to, to pin you down with spiritual attacks from within families. You know what I said earlier? Think about it for a moment. They know you. They knew you from when you were formed. They, um, they can see you. You might be in the US, you might be in the UK. They don't need to be there. When you have a friend, you can see me, you can see me, you can see me. It doesn't matter if you're in 
North Carolina as I speak. Afefe in fe kuma kwen we okolara. Abinu eni ba elon kori eni ba meta. Ton ba kwe ori e o ma je. Se la buruto ba la je sara. It's only if your head, your ori is naturally strong and fortified, then it can deflect attacks. I hope you're getting me. There are so many people that are pegged. And then, like I was saying, these families, they use you as a financial springboard. So some of you, they actually push you forward to travel abroad under the guise that they're going to use you to raise everybody else. They're going to use you as retirement plan. So you then get abroad. You probably are not even meant to be there. Or even if you're meant to be there, you're blinded by sentiments, emotional blackmail. Um, you cannot talk back. You cannot check these people. You can't say no. They drain your finance. Big but only a any people that drain your finance. They are against your prosperity. One If you are actually doing well in life, ajeko domo dofunwa ajeo guguli so ki mara jekpe ronche kajeko wa faye mi shebujoko. If ki owo mi koma konsali apu. If you are scraping the bottom of the barrel financially, and you have people that are draining you, those are those people are actually against your progress. And I'm talking from a spiritual standpoint because So what are we talking about here? But you would rather turn a blind eye to that and hold on to sentiments. Sentiments is not, is not going to pay your freaking bills and give you a good quality of life. Sentiments is not going to put food on the table for your children. If I does not teach us to be stupid, this is what I'm trying to communicate to my brothers and sisters. Don't let people force you into a corner where you, you allow them to drain your finance. Ajay. Some of you, you are actually putting your ajay, your finance, you are putting it in the hands of people who are working against you on a monthly basis. They will take a fraction of the money you're sending to them and they use it to nail you to ensure that you remain at the bottom end of the spectrum or you remain subservient to them. You don't even know it. Now, some people, when they are done with you at the end of the cycle of your life, they will just discard you. They throw you away like a used tampon, eliminate you and you're gone. Or you might even be afflicted with health issues and some calamity something will happen you know mysteriously and you're gone off the face of one and you're gone tiwa oni gbe sajo akere okodele o oh ni ba won dipolitin bag loli o there are so many of our brothers and sisters like people are even too ashamed some people tell them tonight hey man let's go let's let, let's go to nigeria it's not the people will just tell you oh, i don't want to go to that country it's a lie Nanjadu, who told you i go to nigeria i spend time Nanjadu. ah ni shanwa kwa dasile owe o ni konsali apo bo mi agbon se n de nu agbon ko ko yo moraye asiri e o ni tu saraye lowo i tell you for free man hmm as a gentleman 64 this year he told me he's been in the uk since 1998 or 99 yeah 1999 he's living in a bed sit in peckham in london given to him by Southern Council. He, he, he went to the depth of his stories. He said, Franklin, I, I like Jenimi in my prime. He said, my Ori aligns well with Ajay, with prosperity. But it got to a point, it felt like I was fetching water with a basket. You know, that's a figure of speech. He said, He said, 
He's 64 this year. He's less than six years away from being a 70-year-old man. He's in the evening part of his life. It got so bad, his children have been torn against him. He has a series of health issues. There are plenty of them. If you don't fall in that category, let me say it very quickly. You want to do here. Oh, nearly what I joke with you. Hmm. What are you, Nikael? If you're not, if you're, you know, some people are snobs because you got a bit of coins in your back pocket. Oh, well, maybe all this stuff this guy is talking about. I'm all right, you know. I work for IBM. I live in Kent. I drive a Range Rover. My children go to a private school. Why should I bother? I got news for you. There are people actually. I know I like using Kent as a figure of speech because some of our people, when they have a bit of coins in their back pocket and they've managed to relocate to Kent, again, they think that's what life is about. So not, not that I hate Kent. It's a beautiful place to live. It's just an example, right? There's something I want to say before I forget. This is why I say stay fortified. What I'm saying is, I am praying that you don't end up in the group of people that start telling stories that, oh, I was once affluential, but now I'm at the bottom end of the spectrum. You see, what I'm telling you is the evilness that emanates from within family trees and bloodline. You may have, the last 10 years might have been fantastic. You had a great run, career-wise, you're doing well, your wife is doing well, your husband is doing well, children are going to school, they've started uni, you're changing your cars, you're driving a Range Rover, and then boom, pow, they give you an arrow. They give you an arrow, Lodi bow, and everything disappears, it hits rock bottom. I, and I'm not telling you this because I want you to live in fear, no. I'm addressing your subconscious. I am Ben In fact, the better your life, the angrier your enemies or these people that are looking at you from within the shadows. Anyways, I hope you picked something from my story. So let's do Ifa Divination Giveaway. So I'm going to randomly pick five people. All right. Some of us have been in, uh, in West for more than two decades. Please listen to what Brother Franklin say. I'm telling you, man. Akiru hmm. Kodelio. Grab your life by the horns. Don't make decisions because people are saying uh, everybody is going in that direction. Da 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 da. Nope. My forty worry you. Because your your younger brother is a farmer in Nigeria and he tells you he sells you the idea it doesn't mean you're a farmer. Your Ori might not have anything to do with farming at all. Do you understand me? <laughs> People are saying hands up. <laughs> Email please. Okay, so let me explain quickly before I pick. Before I pick you guys, okay. So the Ifa divination, I'm going to pick randomly. I'm going to look at it myself and pick five people. All right, and um, please, when you send me an email. Um, just say divination giveaway, okay? If I pick you, all the five people on here, please, there's no point emailing me later and say, Franklin, please pick me. If you want if I divination, you will pay for it separately, okay? So, we pick five. Everybody's saying pick me. Yeah. Um, so, 
my email address ifar divination hub at protonmail.com so let's go I'll, I'll do that very quickly so what this is it you're going to send me your full name your mother's first name and two questions that you have for ifa two questions maximum of two questions if it's just one question you have fine two questions your name your mother's first name and then two um so hold on the first person is ndolo lamor ndolo So please send me an email, Ifar Divination Hub at protonmail.com and put the subject divination giveaway. Okay. That's one person. Let me let me let me scroll. Let me scroll. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, let me scroll, let me scroll. Somebody said something. Who's that person that said they were they're going through divorce? Who's that person? Somebody said they're going through divorce. That that one caught my attention. Who's that person? <laughs> Somebody said use up well to select. Nah, come on, man. Yes, so Ndolo, send me an email, okay? There's there's somebody that said they're going through okay. Um, right. I don't know who that person. <laughs> Use up my letters. Right. Um, Tony, F Tony Francis. Tony Francis. Send me an email, your full name, mother's first name, and two questions. There's somebody, please send you. Uh, yeah. There's somebody that said... Uh, uh is that, is that Kemi? Kemi? No, 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 no. Uh, Olaya Mia Kombi, don't send me details here. Kemi, that's raising her hands about five times in there. Kemi, okay. I'll pick Kemi. Send me an email, Kemi, please. Okay, with your full name, mother's first name, and... Yeah, Kemi, and your two questions. Uh, if I divination hub at Proton Mail, uh, let me see. But by waiting, they give you the selection process. <laughs> Don't fight me. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait. My younger brother said one of his friends. Uh, da, 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 da. T. La. T. Sauce. T sauce. T sauce. Please send me an email. T sauce. Your full name, mother's first name, and two questions. Okay. Nice one. T sauce. Now, okay. You know what? <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm going to make it. You know what? I'm going to make it seven. Okay. So I'm going to pick three more people. And then we 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 end the show. Please pick me, Oga. I was stolen from Nigeria, and I'm looking to make my way back. <laughs> uh, is that is that okay? Miss Elena's meme number five. Miss Elena's meme. Okay, send me an email. Send me an email. Your full name. Your Mother's first name and two questions. Mm, let me see. Um, uh, um, it's about to finish. I don't even know. I want to pick two more people. I pick ten. Okay, I'm gonna make it ten. I'm gonna make it ten. So I have five. I've already got five names. I'm going to make it 10. Okay. 
So let's let's see, let's see. So I'm going to pick five more people. Please encourage people to be willing to part with their scent. If you want spiritual directions, be ready. Pay price. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. I sent my email already. Nice. Funke Ehiola. Who's that? Funke Ehiola. Is it Ehiola? Funke Ehiola. Yes. So I'll put six. Funke, is it? A or something. Yeah. You are missing the guy going through. Who is the person going through divorce now? Where what's the name of that person? Jeez, man. I'm looking for that person, I swear down. Franco Nero, one be job. Oh yeah now. Let me see. Hold on. Can you believe that my system suddenly came slow? Who is uh Ah, thank great. Thank you for your big heart. Ah, ha, la yemi. Jeez. Um, this person caught my attention. Queen C, Ola Jumoke. Okay. Ola Jumoke, Queen C. Ola Jumoke. I'm the one going through divorce. Okay, Mr. Ngaslio. Thank you. Thank you. I can see, Mr. That's eight. Send me your full name, mother's first name, and two questions, okay? Mr. Nga Sleel. All right, my email address, Ifa Divination Hub at protonmail.com. So there is two more people. Nine, ten. Uh, uh, there's two more people. <laughs> Uh, two more people. Uh, two more people. Uh, I'm coming. Ah, the way people are typing, man. Uh, okay, hold on. Femi A, you're saying going through one as well. Femi A, you said going through one as well. Femi A. And one more person. Who? PLJ Happy. PLJ Happy. PLJ Happy. PLJ Happy. PLJ Happy. Sorry, guys. That's me done. 10. All right. So send me your emails, okay? Don't worry next time. This is the first time I'm doing giveaway, man. PLJ happy, yeah. <laughs> All right. So your, yeah, I'm going to put my email in the description. That's uh, uh, Ifa Divination Hub at protonmail.com. Um, Sorry if I didn't pick you. You know, there's a lot of attention, more than 400 people. It's the first time I'm giving um, a, um, a giveaway on my channel. And I just felt, you know what? Let me... Uh, let me do something, you know. So, um, 10 people, up to two questions each. Now, T, if I buy the to two, it's up to you. You don't owe me anything. It's your life. If it comes back, whatever be the outcome, T, if I buy the to two, 82 means appeasement. If you're asked to do appeasement and stuff, um, it's up to you to then fund that if you want to go ahead with it. If you don't want to, but I will give you the outcomes for free. You're not paying for Idafa, okay? So thank you for supporting my channel. Um, so all 10 of you, please, just Steve, if you want to do consultation, just send me an email. I'm going to deal with all emails. If our divination hub at, at protonmail.com, okay? I'm going to reduce the prices, even if you are going to. I'm going to reduce the prices. Reduce, reduce, all right? So, yeah, that's me done. Thank you very much. Um, most of those pick don't go redeeming the money, no. <laughs> hey, yo, man, don't, don't worry if people go to church, man. They get the message. And I wish them well. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for your ears. Thank you for the love. 
you know what? I'll try to to um, possibly I'll find a topic. I might be here tomorrow night, man. I'm on the roll. I'll see if I can come here tomorrow night. Thank you very much. So give me 48 hours once your divination is ready. Put in the subject of the email, divination, you know, giveaway or something. I will read the emails anyway. So once I get the 10, that's it. All right. Thank you. Good night.